I'm Ariel Islam, a junior at Camp Hill High School. Camp Hill High School received a silver medal in U.S. News and World Report's first annual list of America's best high schools. The recognition is based on standardized test performance, proficiency rates of all students, and challenging college-ready curriculum. Good luck, team. Thank you, Ariel, and thank you for staying with us. But before this exciting game continues, here's a chance for you to play along with our Pashy Pop Quiz. The Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education is the largest provider of higher education in the Commonwealth. There are 14 great universities that make up Pashy, or the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. Let's head over to one of those great universities, Millersville, for today's question. In 1950, this mathematician proposed a test to determine whether a machine demonstrates intelligence. Who was this mathematician? Now, if you know the answer or would like to see the question again, here's what you need to do. Go online to WGAL.com slash Brain Busters to answer this question and have a chance to win this super soft chenille blanket embroidered with a capital Blue Cross logo. It's simply perfect for staying warm on chilly nights. Whether you take it with you to a football game or use it while watching Brain Busters from the comfort of your couch, this blanket has you covered. Plus, you can email me with any questions or comments about the show. All right, let's get back into this game. Our teams are neck and neck. It's time now for a pivotal round, the bonus Brain Buster. During our break, our teams wagered from 0 to 50 points based on their knowledge of artists. Well, let's head over to the newsroom with news aide's Jerry Gish with today's question. Jerry? Thanks, Rich. Here's your question for today. Although he spent 50 years of his life in England, he has been called the father of American painting. What colonial artist painted Penn's treaty with the Indians and the death of General Wolfe? Again, although he spent 50 years of his life in England, he has been called the father of American painting. What colonial artist painted Penn's treaty with the Indians and the death of General Wolfe? Good luck with your answer. Now back to Studio A. Rich? Thanks, uh, Jerry. Good luck, teams. We'll give you about five seconds. Okay, well, that sound uh, ends our five second. We're asked that everybody write something down. Aaron has something down. Michael, pens are closed. Coincidentally, he was born in Springfield, Pennsylvania. If that helps. All right, Michael, we start with this side. You had 200, this side. Williams, no, that's sorry, that's incorrect. So we're going to deduct 35 points from your score, taking you to 165. Aaron, it's up to you. It's Wyatt. Wyatt, no, it is not. That's so close. I almost thought you had it. It was West. Benjamin West. And if you see the paintings, you'll understand who it is, uh, the pen signing. So taking you down to 130, 200 to 130. Let's see what happens as we now play today's Keystone Health Final Frenzy 20-point questions. Good luck to all eight of you. He was General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union from 1922 until his death in 1953. Michael. Stalin. Stalin is correct. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Which Shakespearean king shouts these famous? Brad. Richard III. Richard III does. Lombard Street is one of the crookedest streets in the world. Adam, San Francisco. in San Francisco is where it is located. For his discovery of a form of radiation with a frequency much higher than visible light, Willem R Rentgen won the first X-rays. X-rays, the first Nobel Prize in physics. Yes, Star Wars, Tron, and the Abyss were among the first movies to.